Harry's been here. <laughs> All right. Good morning. How are we doing? Move this real quick. We'll get back to it. I have this little box of goodies that I want to get put away real quick. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning this out and maybe make a big grab bag out of it. I don't know. Well, nothing like opening the wrong side. Good morning. How is everybody? How are we doing? Okay, I don't think any of this goes in here. So we'll put this away. Get the other one out. Here we go. Just on the other side, maybe. Yay, Francis! Whoop, whoop. Awesome. That is great news, honey. these little flowers go. Well, we'll put them over there for now. Put those. And this little guy. She does not want to get picked. Hold on. Grab a wax. There we go. Just going to put him in the, in the bag now. I don't want to deal with him. It's a little pain in the butt. These little guys go right there. Gold, gold, blue. blue. Little guys. Rip. 
So, I got all those put away, but we must go in the other one. I just didn't see it. You know what happened. Well, you know what? They're going to go over here. Because I don't know where the hell they go. I probably used them all. This is all I got left. Because it was in a different container. So we'll just put them in there for now. We'll close that up. Otherwise, those will get those will escape. And they are tiny and annoying. Okay. room in here to put one or two of these. these in. Now there's room in this one. I don't know what these are doing in here. They belong up there. We're gonna make it. There. Now we got all those put away. Okay. And then these little ones. I can get this out of here. These little words we'll put in here. I am not getting the thing out for you. You can come over there for now. All right. So, I'm just going to get these all put in here. Let's do this the easy way. Oh, there we go. Put those in there. Clean that out. <clears throat> I can get it off my desk. So if you're taking up space, you know. I gotta put a rubber band on this though because it keeps popping open. And that's annoying. Everything falls out. There we go. Much better. Okay. So still um Working on, you know, the shop and this area. If you guys saw what this looked like right now, you, you would just, oh my God. Um, <laughs> but I have a lot more moving of things to do. I'm trying to get rid of things that I don't use, you know. Um, things that I bought uh, to put in the shop that have been in the shop forever and haven't sold. They need to go. You know what I mean? Um, 
So I'm working on getting that taken care of. <clears throat> so I don't have to deal with it. And in the process, I'm managing to make more, um, I'm managing to get more space for Amy because um, you know anything that I have that's storage that she that she can use I'm giving to her. Okay. All right, so we have this. This part's the bigger part. Let me get the scissors real quick. Looking for a piece of this that will cover this. And if I don't, you know, if this doesn't work, I've got other things. This is not going to work. Okay, we're going to have to find something else. Well, we missed you yesterday, Francis. But I'm glad that we missed you for a good reason. get home till six. Oh, good gravy. Well, I mean, at least they had good news, you know, we weren't there for bad news. All right, so we have this Hobby Lobby faux Tim Holtz fabric. We'll use this. And let me grab the heat and bond. Well, 
Um, and your package went out yesterday. I will get you a uh, tracking number. Let me grab the iron off the Oh, okay. That's a better. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna plug this in. All right. All right, so I press that on there, and I'm not going to turn this into book club because we're going to iron it directly onto this. So. because I don't want it to stick because it does hang over. Uh, I'm going to put it on here. Just like that. And I'm going to press this.
Okay. Whew. All right. I have to be careful when I press this because this is actually uh, faux. And so it's plastic, basically, you know, it's polyvinyl. All right. So now I have that and I can just trim around this. A small pair of scissors. Hey, Michelle. So I'm just going to grab some small scissors. And I'm going to trim this very close all the way around. Sorry, this is not exciting for you guys. I gotta get close. I need my fabric scissors. And then, once I have this all trimmed, I'm going to press it again just to make sure that it's well adhered. Okay. All right, little bit of quick trimming here. And a little bit away from me on this edge. All right, so that is going to be our cover on this and I don't want to just leave this so I'm going to stitch it around and then we'll put the holes in it you know so we're going to, have to put our holes top and bottom and then our books are going to fit in there like that and then this will come up and be our cover <laughs> okay so i'm not going to get out the sewing machine because that's just more crap that i have to do off camera so i'm just going to set this to the side put those away my new fabric scissors i'm so happy now in my cleaning i came across this and um, I thought this would be a cute traveler's notebook. So that's what we're going to do with it. I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to take this part out. And then we're going to measure this sucker for size. And we're going to go in and put in, you know, a couple of pieces. I don't know that we'll fit three in here, but 
two is definitely a go. You know? I don't know. I'm on Traveler's Notebooks right now. Okay. So that's out of there, and that's really, you know, nothing that's worth anything. Piece of crap. Now it's a wallet. But see, now I have, like, I'll have these pockets on the sides you know, to tuck little things into. Like, you know, maybe your AAA card, your ARP. So, now, let's take a look. I'm going to measure some stuff off here. There it is. Okay, so... thinking like right there to like right there. That's the maximum for the book in this one. And that is I'm going to say five and three quarters. It's actually six, but I think we'll do the covers at six. Let me get, let me get a piece of paper. Oh, where, oh, where has my paper pad gone? Here it is. Okay. All right. So covers. I'm going to get a pen that actually writes because that is just white. You can't see it. So the covers are going to be six by three and a quarter. And so that will make the insides. Uh, five and three quarters by three. It's a decent enough size. It's not great, but it's decent enough. Oh, no, the first one? That, this one? This is the cover to the Traveler's Notebook that we're currently working on. See. I'm going to do um, a series of videos on these, like different covers and stuff. And uh, where we're going to work through them. Okay. So. <clears throat> so we're going to do pieces for this that are going to be six inches tall. by three and three quarters, three and a quarter, and then five and three quarters for the insides and three inches wide. So we'll need, we'll need to get rid of this white pen that I keep trying to write with. So these will be five and three quarters by six overall. So now we just have to figure out paper for this and which might be a little bit difficult, but, you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> you know, I, I got to tell you, Amy and I are infamous for that. Every place we go, if one of us goes in, they get two of everything because you never know what the other one's going to want, you know? So... We're going to work on this one. It's not going to be very thick. Like I said, I think we're only going to get maybe two in here. So we may need to be a little tricky with this one, but uh, we're going to work on it. You know, it's a cute little wallet. 
and we're going to make some covers. Put those in there. So we got that one going. All right. So let's talk about stuff. Okay, so um, aside from doing this series that I'm going to be doing videos on, so if you miss anything, don't worry about it. We're going to do videos. Um, I'm also going to be doing a simple sewing machine cover that you can do really quick for your sewing machine. Because I know you don't necessarily need to have, a, you know, like a hard case for it. But if you have your sewing machine out in your craft room, you don't want to get dusty. So we're going to make a sewing machine cover for it. Um. What else? What else? What else? Um, I'm looking to see if I can find something I want to make the covers of this out of. Oh, I should probably unplug this iron real quick before I burn myself. Maybe dark botanicals. I like this one right off the bat. I like this. This will work too because we can keep it pretty neutral, you know. Sorry about that. Put white, white paper down there and it gets all weird. All right. So we have already decided that the maximum size here is da -da 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 -da, six inches. So I'm going to cut these six inches. Give this little Carl a try again. I'm not, just not sure I like it, you know? All right, six inches. Make sure I'm not directional here. Perfect. I do. There's a special foot for it. <laughs> ah, don't even get me started on feet. All right. And three and a quarter. So six and a half. Plus pockets. So, I'm going to work this out. Let's 
See, it's a scary thing to be in my brain, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to score this at six. We're going to score this one at six. I may not use this paper. It's cracking. Which means it's going to crack here too. And it needs to be three and four. This is the reason why I don't like this paper. Um, it cracks real easy. Hey, let's try our new scissors. Standard issue supply. Okay, I need to get a little inside there. The score line was still intact. We don't want that. Okay. That'll work. Okay. I've been working on that. <laughs> Maybe. All right, three and a quarter. Turn it three and a quarter. Three and a quarter, so two and three quarters. Let's go to one and three quarters. Yes. No. See, I'm mathing backwards. That's a dangerous thing. Thing backwards is never good. I 
<laughs> uh, let's see. really don't like that this paper's cracking. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. If it if I don't like it, then I'll go and get something else, you know? I'll figure something else out. All right. But in the meantime, let's see if we got the size right. Yep, those will fit. Those will fit and still allow us to close this. So that's the important part. Okay. All right, so we're going to close that up. These cut like butter. I have to get some more. Um, they're these. They're all the same. These I can get, though. Real easy. So I'm going to go grab some of those, I think. Put them in my shop because they're nice. All right. So I have the extra paper, which I'm going to put back in here in the file folder. It holds all my paper. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Um, for whatever reason, this stuff is cracking. Well, because it's craft smart. Um, it's cracking. I'm not enjoying it. I'll see what else I can come up with. You know, I may find something better to use. All right. So yesterday we started, uh, I started on my 52 cards for my um, challenges 24. And... Um, the list is available on my Google Docs. Uh, let me put it in here just in case. It's in the description below, but let me just grab the link real quick here. Do, 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 do. Hello, Harry. All right, let me see. Uh, All right, so that's the link for the Google Doc, and that's this. Thank you, Kitty. Um, if for any reason you can't get the Google Doc, um, just let me know, and I'll just mail you a copy of this. Mail, mail, mail. Francis, I told you I, I got your package, and it's going in the mail today, right? I think I did. If not, I just did. Um, so the first challenge is a um, a jar. Harry. <laughs> oh, giving me kisses is not going to get you from, yeah, down you go. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> He's such a brat. Oh, he turned on my damn hot new gun again. Stop that. Um, so this is mine. It's very simple. Very simple. Like basic card. You know, I cut a jar and not the same jar everybody else uses, but, you know, that was the one I had at the moment because everything in my house is thrown up right now, all my crafting stuff. Um, so we're going to do one a week for 52 weeks. This is the 52 card challenge. It, it's not original to me. Other people have done it. Um, so you can either upcycle a playing card or if you don't, you know, have a deck of cards you want to destroy. I don't. Um, Harry. 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 Hey. Get down. 
Yeah, I said down. Get down. Get off there. Get off there. I'm not dealing with you. Get down. Come on. Here's your knee. Get down. There you go. Okay. Um, you can just cut some paper, uh, three and a half by two and a half, uh, ATC, you know, um, this is watercolor paper and I'm using it because it's got a good texture to it. It's good, uh, good thickness as a base. And you can do anything you want with this thing. You can upcycle a playing card if you want to upcycle a playing card. And I'm working on getting the, um, backs for them so that you can label them. And you know, that's, this is mine for the first. Uh, 52. And uh, next week I'll be doing flowers and the week after that I'll be doing birds. <laughs> so we did uh, pull all of those um, together. We did it live and we pulled all of the the prompts so we're just going to work our way through it. And already, I have to tell you, there has been some incredible stuff turn, you know, that has been posted. Um, Brian, he did a video for his and um, his card is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, Sharon Leggett did one and hers is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it inspired her to use a technique that she had seen um, done and that she wanted to try, but she didn't know what to try it on. And this allowed her to try it. I'm going to give him some treats so he'll leave me alone for 30 seconds. There you go, honey. He's over here putting up one paw after another. And every time I put a paw down, he puts it right back, puts the other one up. So yeah, get off of me, kitty. <laughs> oh, Let's see. What else? Oh, dog. Oh, this one came in a little bit late. Um, I'm sure it's the mail, but uh, I got another Christmas card, Joy to the World, for Unto Us a Child Was Born. And she sent me some little puppy stickers. I have to tell you. Oh. Um. <laughs> But she sent me some little puppy stickers here that are Christmas. And this one is uh, from Heather Doodlebug. Yes, ma'am. It's an ATC a week. You alter a playing card, one card per week for 52 weeks. Like I said, I'm not the person who originated this. I've seen so many different places. I actually saw it on Pinterest. Um, so I don't know who started it but i know a lot of people have done it and uh this is a very common challenge um an uncommon challenge for you is that somehow i've managed to lose my needles my sewing needles disappeared and i have been going bonkers trying to find them they're in a glass jar don't know what i did with them If you want to use like lightweight chipboard, that works too. Oh, it just has to be three and a half by two and a half. Ginger. Okay. Because um, it's supposed to be a playing card. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to be uh, doing some new poke tools. And, you know, in three days I'm going to have a sale. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. But uh, I do have stuff that I have pulled out of the shop and stuff that, you know, I found that I didn't realize I still had or that uh, I forgot I had entirely. So um, I'll be getting those <laughs> out and we'll see. You know, maybe I'll come up with something. But I know that there's going to be some grab bags in it. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because I cleared out my lace. So this whole box is full of lace. And I'm going to just put it in 
weighed bags, I guess. And uh, we're going to sell those grab bags. Um, I have Hover working on some projects for me because I have, um, I picked up two cuddle bugs while I was on my trip. Now here's the thing with these things. They throw away the pads. Like they get the pad, they don't know what it is. So they chuck it. Very, unless it's got some kind of writing on it, like uh, the cricket, you know, the, uh, the Sizzix ones, you know, your big shot that has the directions on it. Unless that stuff's on there, they just throw it away. And I believe that the cricket pads are just pads. Um, reach down here for this. Okay. So I have this one. Okay. This cuddle bug. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, the pad that fits in there, how thick it is, how wide it is, what it needs to be. Now, this one looks like somebody cut directly on the pad. So whatever that's for, it gets cut directly on the pad. And go. See, it's not quite as wide as the big shot. Um, but it's wider than whatever this is. And it's not as deep as whatever this goes to. So, um, Hubber is trying to cut boards for this. He's got bunches of this stuff. It's melanin. And uh, so he's trying to cut some boards for it. And then um, we'll try to get, you know, some of these that fit. So I'm trying to get these two functional so that, you know, they don't end up in a landfill. Um, the rollers do work. So that's not a problem. It's just getting the, the, the pads, you know, and I, I really don't want to sell the machines without the pads because I, I don't think you can get them. Yeah, I may have to get the replacement boards, but in order for me to get the replacement replacement boards, Michelle, I'd have to sell that unit at like way more than I want to. And so I really make it a point to try and sell them as inexpensively as possible. So that being said, I'm not going to hide anything here. You know, I never do. Um, I picked this one up for $7.99. Ow. Um, and that's just the unit. So, let's see. All right, so if I were to do these, let's see, we're going to go to Amazon because that's the, you know,
We'll see. My computer is being very slow today. Okay. So these are all called craft first. Like there's no specific ones for the cuddle bug in here. Um I got a spellbinder. And our opening is probably about five and three quarters. So we'll see five and three quarters, five and a half. It's an embossing mat. We don't want that. Okay, so plates for this, just a set of plates, is, oh, they even show it in this machine, um, $17.75, okay? And then the base plate for it. That's the metal shim. What I want to see. Okay, so A is $17.99, and then $17.99 for the plates. You know, you're looking at, uh, it's promo craft, but they don't make it anymore. That's the thing. This is not make, made anymore. So, you know, if I sold this to somebody, and I paid $8 for it, so I've brought it home. I've cleaned it up. Um, we've remounted the uh, handle on here because it was loose. Um, the <coughs> This was busted out, so I had to repair that. There's just a little screw in there that does that. Um, but we've cleaned the rollers. We've cleaned the decks. You know, all the work that I've done, oiling the in, you know, the mechanisms inside so that it actually functions. Um, I would probably sell this for like 20 bucks, $25, but then add the 35 to it that it would cost me to buy the plates and you know, you're looking at basically you could buy a new machine, you know? So it's either sell it without the plates and let somebody else, you know, get the plates. Or if I can make 
you know, if I can get the plates by altering plates that I have, and I do have a lot of these, I have a lot of these different sized ones, you know, and uh, Hubbard doesn't have a problem with cutting them down. So if we can get them cut down and it, you know, put the plates in it, at least you get started, you know? Ugh. But I have two of them that we picked up on our trip. Um, but like I said, the problem is, is that the most expensive, you know, thing that they do is usually when these come in, they throw them out. The only reason I get these is because my local stores, I've gone in and showed them and said, look, do you see these things? If they come in and they look like this, they've got little scratches and mars in them like this. These are cutting plates for die cutting machines. Do not throw them out. Find the damn die cutting machine and put it in there. If you can't find the die cutting machine, put this in a bag and charge four or $5 for it. And I'll come in and see it and go, okay, I'm going to take that. Yeah, I would have to charge about 75, 80 bucks for that machine in order to make my money back. And unfortunately, that means I would have to sit on it until somebody wanted to buy it. And, you know, you can, there's cutting machines now that you can get that are in that price range. So it's not really an advantage unless I find somebody who absolutely loves the cuddle bug. So. So that's kind of it. So, all right, ladies. Francis, I am so glad to hear that you're cancer free. Um, that has got to be a weight off of your shoulders and Hubbard's shoulders. Um, go have lunch with your brother. You know? Um, <laughs> did you dance a little jig? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, have, have a good time. Uh, Enjoy your healthy girl. And after all, that's what we want. You know, we want you healthy. Um, so that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to boogie out of here. Cause like I said, I got still a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I got to, I got to go through two, three, three filing cabinets, a couple of shelving units still. Uh, get all that stuff moved around. And uh, I don't know. I think at some point I may actually go over to the emergency room and have my knee x-rayed. <laughs> oh, don't ask. Um, but that's it. That's all I got, guys. Uh, if you're new and you haven't said anything, which you may have because there's three of us in here now. Um, <laughs> go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. And check out the listings down in the description box. It'll tell you everything you need to know. I will have that ready to go tomorrow. Uh, and we'll put it together. We'll get it finished and we'll get started. Hopefully get started on this one, you know? So. Uh, until I see you again, stay well, my friends. Bye. Yeah, say bye-bye. Bye.